No, no, no. The sea perches is an under robot horse. Um, the sea perch is a robot that works under water. Um, we got sea perches from the MIT grant, and MIT. And MIT created the sea perch. Um, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is MIT. Um, yeah, and you don't understand. What? It works by. It works by motors. Um, we. We. <laughs> We put the BBC to, to how we need to how we need it to fit. Um, we also drilled the holes you see in the joints here, and we soldered and epoxied the motors and like bullets, whatever these things are. Lights. Lights. Can I sign it? This is this hook thing right here. This little nose thing. Um, it's designed. We put it on here so we can catch rings with it. Metal rings will be at the bottom of the pole and pick up things. The rings from there, so the rings will slide over here. Um, the, the floaties are to, are to help make it buoyant, and the net here is to catch wires or anything that falls out and hold weights if you need to add some weights onto there to make it um go down into the water. Um. Yeah. Keep on going. It's not five minutes. Just keep on talking about secret. Say, so, let's go to our first scoop. Ryan. Um. Let's see how the other groups are doing because this is my group and we're done practically. Hi Ryan, how's your sea perch going? Pretty good. Tell us some more about the sea perch. Sea perch is an underwater robotics program. This is our sea perch and uh, we modified it so we can put a camera on one side and a pipe to pick up rings and stuff on the other side. And uh, sea perch is designed to do things that humans can't really do underwater, like clean up dangerous oil spills and stuff like that. So that's pretty much that's what sea perch is. Um, how much money did you get from the sea perch grant? We got about two thousand dollars from the grant. So that's a lot of money considering we got ten sea perch kits. They each cost like two hundred dollars. So. Okay. And this is Ryan's sea perch. What part are you on, Ryan? Right now, we're going to wax our motors. And we already soldered them. So they're nice and tight on there. And then we're going to put wax in these canisters, put our motors in the canisters, and then uh, it'll be waterproofed. Okay. And we're going to do that to all three motors. Okay. Let's go to... Our final group, Parker. You look like a lion. Not a Let me see. Let me see. You still video with it? Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be easy. Look at your picture. Look at your picture. Look at your picture. Look at your picture. How's what? stage are you in in the sea perch? Okay, so right now we just we just mounted our motors and with our propellers to the frame. We finished doing the Cat 5, flying on Cat 5. We have added the floaties, we have modified it to where it's held on by PVC instead of the what is it called? Oh, that's instead of the other thing. And right now we are we should be we're going to be soldering our control board. Okay. And then we will be attaching the control board to the sea perch. And then it will be practically finished. No, it's the colors of carrots. Okay. And it's sea solar. This is. Right now they are solder. Soldering um, the control board together. Yep. I right am. I'm not. We're taking a video. Okay, okay, okay. I know, but they don't want it. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Hi there.
We have to. We have to, Ezra. This is, this is the control board. This is the control board. Ezra's soldering the control board. Right now, he's just trying to take off the solder from the part that we did wrong, our group did wrong, and that solder iron didn't work, so we're going to test a new one, that one. Um, the three things we need to solder are solder, so is a solder sucker, um, the soldering iron, and solder. This is all of the equipment that we need. The top of the control board over there. The epoxy, that yellow tube over there. That yellow tube is me. Oh yeah, this solder. Pick me, pick me, pick me. That's the solder iron. I'm the worst solder. Those are the two soldering irons. Can you look at me for a moment? And the final thing you need is goggles. There's the goggles. That's the soldering. That's the soldering iron. I said our group. The wires. Dude, dude, dude. That's the soldering iron right there. I know. I know. I just had. Where's the welding? And this is all the equipment. This is from the wax. Let's go do it. Yeah, this is too much wax. Let's interview some people who have been making them. Let's talk to... Let's talk to Abby. I mean, um, Quinn. Quinn, what have you been doing in your group? We are not uh, no, you can't see him. Because I was a Parker's group and he didn't let me do the thing. Okay. What about you? You can see me. Oh. Uh, well, we've we're, been we're, like, stuck in right now. We're soldering the control board, trying to finish it up. But um, oh. what happened to your control board? It was a very hard procedure. The fuse. Camera. Cameraman. Cameraman. Um, the fuse blew. Yeah. Oh. Um. So we had to put a new one in and stuff. Okay. Let's talk to another person. Hi, Harley. What have you been doing in your group? What have I been doing? Yes. I've been orienting these people who are not really acting very well. Okay. Right now, I'm just about to wax. You see, this piece is waterproof wax. It's coming from this bowl. Ew, that looks like poop. That's yes. the wax. Yes. That's the wax. It's called a bowl ring. The wax is over here. Here. We're going to go to the wax pot. Why don't you show a clip of the guys who are in trouble? And there's the wax. No, it's not caramel and ew. It looks like coffee. Hey, don't you show the guys who are in trouble? They can't do anything. Robert, it's Let's talk to one more person about secrets. She's also known as Monkey Gunk. So, let's talk to the final person. Now, get everything? Hi. Okay, did you guys talk about how you wrote the grant? Is it still going? Yeah. Stop for a second.